Despite holding approximately 37 billion barrels of proven crude oil reserves, Nigeria imports most of its refined products due to lack of domestic refining capacity. Set over an area of over 26 kilometers at an estimated cost of $15 billion, the Dangote refinery will have a capacity to process about 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. When it becomes operational in 2021, the Dangote refinery will increase Nigeria's refining capacity twofold and it will help meet the increase in domestic fuel demand while generating foreign exchange through exports. When you look at it, you are talking about thousands of jobs, you know, because, you know, people who work in the filling stations, people who, you know, it's a whole chain, you know, uh, of jobs and opportunities that we're going to, uh, you know, create. But the most important aspect of it, apart from the job creation, is actually the issue of not using our foreign exchange to be importing, having all these ships coming, hanging around, creating demorage and, you know, and all the other issues. Uh, involve uh, Nigeria at least for the first time in our lifetime we'll see Nigeria exporting petroleum products you know rather than importing with a single crude oil distillation unit the world's largest atmospheric tower the Dangote refinery will be the largest single train refinery in the world its construction on swampy ground required piling work of 148,000 pounds which is a world record The processing facilities at the refinery also include a residual fluid catalytic cracking unit and the world's largest subsea pipeline infrastructure with a capacity to handle 3 billion standard cubic feet of gas per day. The complex also includes the largest fertilizer plant in Africa. A marine terminal, including a breakwater, jetty, and harbor, was built to receive over 70,000 containers of equipment, 1,500 over-dimension cargo, and thousands of kilometers of cabling, pipeline infrastructure, and road building material required for building the complex. The Dangote Marine Terminal is a creation of a maritime miracle out of nothing constructed with local materials all the way through. Its eco-friendly equilibrium sandbar breakwater is a very unique first of its type in the world. In anticipation of the future erosion of the beach to the east of the terminal, a geotubes, sleeping defense system and sand engine were built. The terminal has received the world's largest atmospheric tower built in China for the Dangote refinery. So far, the terminal has received tons of equipment for the construction of the complex. for Mammut uh, with Dangotti approximately four years ago. Operationally, we've been, been on site uh, for approximately two years now. Mammut has recently completed their final scope of work. In total, we have done 239 transports uh, with a combined weight of 85,000 tons. And we did 154 installations with a combined weight of 70,000 tons. It's great to see you know, a project of this magnitude and size, which will ultimately be the biggest single train refinery in the world, being built by an African man in Africa. 
and Mamut to be part of that is, is phenomenal. Really proud to be part of, of the Mamut team and it's been an absolute privilege. You know, when you're on a project for so long, it, it really becomes part of you. So yeah, quite mixed emotions really to think it's all, all come to an end now.